the Tasmanian Devil, remember Tars from the Warner Bros, Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies series of cartoons. Have you ever wondered how does this ferocious carnivore with a notoriously short temper looks like in real life? Well, it is actually based on the Tasmanian Devil. Hi guys welcome back to my YouTube channel, and in today's video, we will be talking about the Tasmanian Devil. However, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon, so you never miss any updates. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. One of the most interesting animals. First of all, let me tell you, that it is the largest surviving carnivorous marsupial in the world. Previously, this animal was only found on the island state of Tasmania, however, it was later reintroduced to New South Wales and mainland Australia. The Tasmanian Devil is basically the size of a small dog, and it was the year 1963 when it became the largest carnivorous marsupial after thylacine went extinct. The Tasmanian Devil is also related to quolls. It is characterized by its keen sense of smell, ferocity when feeding, pungent odor, black fur that looks beautiful, muscular build, and of course, an extremely loud and disturbing screech. Since the head and neck of this animal are large, it is can generate one of the strongest bites per unit body mass of any predatory land mammal. They have slightly longer forelegs as compared to their hind legs and they can run up to 13 km per hour. While most of them are black, some have white patches on the chest and rump. Male Tasmanian devils are usually larger than female ones. Healthy Tasmanian devils have fat tails, since they store body fat in their tails. They are fully grown, when they are two years old, and some devils can live longer than five years. These animals can eat nearly 10% of their body weight each day. The Tasmanian devils usually eat snakes, birds, fish, insects, and carrion. This animal is also linked to a tapeworm, called the Tasuratini robusta. Interestingly, this tapeworm is classified as rare under the Tasmanian Threatened Species Protection Act of 1995. You might also want to note that this tapeworm is only found in the Tasmanian Devils. Habitat They were once abundant throughout Australia and are now found in all habitats on the island of Tasmania. They were also present on Bruni Island from the 19th century. However, there have been no records of devils on Bruni Island after 1900. During the mid-1990s, these animals were illegally introduced to Badger Island, and by the year 2007, the Tasmanian government removed them. The removed devils were then returned to the Tasmanian mainland. Then in 2015, immunized captive-bred Tasmanian devils were released into Narantapu National Park in Tasmania. Two of them died, because of being hit by vehicles. The core habitat of these animals, is the low to moderate annual rainfall zone of eastern as well as northwestern Tasmania. These animals particularly like coastal woodlands and dry sclerophyll forests. They like open forests. Moreover, they also prefer dry forests to wet forests. You will find them near roads where roadkill is prevalent. The Tasmanian devils were reintroduced to mainland Australia in 2020 in a sanctuary that is managed by Aussie Ark. The sanctuary is located in the Barrington Tops area of New South Wales. Well, this was the first time Tasmanian devils had lived at this place in more than 3,000 years temperament. Yes, it is absolutely true that the Tasmanian devils fly into a rage if they are threatened by a predator. Moreover, they also fight for a mate or meal. Records show that they even attack humans. This animal was dubbed devil by early European shelters after witnessing displays such as lunging, teeth bearing, and spine chilling guttural growls. Here, it is important to know that many of these behaviors are merely fear-induced or feeding rituals. Threats to survival. During the late 1800s, the Tasmanian devils were livestock killing pests. At that time, they were trapped, shot, and poisoned after the Van Diemen Land Company announced a reward for people who would kill a Tasmanian devil on their property. These efforts were nearly successful, and it is believed that if the practice would have continued, there would be no Tasmanian devils today. Fortunately, the government made Tasmanian devils a protected species back in the year 1941. The population has grown steadily since then. Devil Facial Tumor Disease Since we are talking about the Tasmanian devils, it is important to mention the Devil Facial Tumor Disease which is basically an aggressive non-viral clonally transmissible cancer. The disease was first described back in 1996, and it has ravaged wild devils since then. From 1996 to 2015, this deadly disease wiped out approximately 95% of affected populations. When this disease impacts a devil, there is often more than one primary tumor. Lumps of soft tissue form around the mouth, and the tumors destroy the underlying jawbone. 
This also affects the feeding and tumors sometimes even cover the eyes. On average, a Tasmanian devil dies within six months because of secondary infection, metabolic starvation, or organ failure. The devil facial tumor disease spread when a Tasmanian devil bites or scratches another Tasmanian devil. Some experts say that DFTD was caused by a mutated Tasmanian devil who passed it on to another Tasmanian devil, and so on so forth. Reports published by National Geographic suggest that the devil facial tumor disease reduced the Tasmanian devil's population from 140,000 to 20,000. Conservation I have already mentioned that the Tasmanian devil is a protected species in Australia. It was the year 2003 when Save the Tasmanian Devil program was launched by the Tasmanian state government. This program is the official response to the threatened extinction of the devil because of DFTED and the vision for the saver. Tasmanian Devil program is for an enduring and ecologically functional population of Tasmanian devils in the wild in Tasmania. It is worth mentioning that the response includes sequestering Tasmanian devil populations where the devil faced tumor disease hasn't yet appeared. Officials are also focusing on captive breeding programs in order to save the devils from extinction. And at the same time, scientists are working to develop a vaccine for the devil faced tumor disease. Devils can be saved. Experts believe that, if proper steps are taken, the Tasmanian devil can be saved from extinction. For example, Mena Jones observed that some Tasmanian devils are adapting to the devil faced tumor disease. She said, we've seen seven, possibly eight animals whose tumors have regressed. The patterns we are seeing give hope. Close quote Mena is an expert on the species at the University of Tasmania in Hobart. Moreover, scientists at the University of Tasmania have been able to successfully treat Tasmanian devils with the devil faced tumor disease. They injected live cancer cells into the infected Tasmanian devils, which stimulated the immune systems of the Tasmanian devils to recognize and fight the disease. The primary purpose now is to ensure the survival of this animal in the wild. Final thoughts. In the end, it is important to know that reports suggest that they are still disappearing, and if we do not do anything to save the Tasmanian devils, they will join the West African black rhinoceros and the quaggas on the list of extinct animals by the year 2034. It is important that we start taking efficient steps to save our planet. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts and valuable feedback with us in the comments section below. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it and press that bell button so you will be notified each time we upload an interesting video on this channel. And while you are here, click to watch one of these two videos that are appearing on your screen. We will see you there. Take care and stay tuned.